How's everybody doing? I'm Michael Spivey, AKA Mr. Yunus with the Spivey and Daniels Real Estate Group, powered by ESP Realty. So I'm excited to get this information out to you. This is gonna be a full tutorial on the monthly digest provided by HomeBot. Okay, so this is gonna be HomeBot for buyers. And just to be clear, when I say buyers, it's gonna be first time home buyers. You own a home now and you're looking to purchase somewhere else. You're in California and you're looking to purchase out of state. You're out of state, you're looking to purchase in California. If you are a buyer, this is an amazing tool for you. And I'm excited to get this tutorial going. So let's get into it. Up top, it's gonna to be a quick introduction. You'll see my information. Now, get into the price point. Right now, it's at 600,000. This will be set at the number that fits you. This can be adjusted right here on this guest tab. It's the end of your price point. This is where you can adjust the number right here. Um, let's go explore with 600. So, want a smart price point? Get professional advice about your price point by ordering a quick prequal so you can buy smarter and be a more competitive bidder. So, this is Rob O'Malley. Um, he's a lender that we have partnered with on HomeBot. Just real quickly, here is his information down below. So if you want to get in contact with him to get more information, there you go right there. And um, just kind of get back to it. Going back to the price point. Now, if you click change and go to the calculate tab, I understand everybody isn't ready for the conversation with the lender. And you know, that is totally okay. Some of us have already spoken to lenders and you know we understand what uh, we qualify to buy. And that's where you would enter that number in there. But if you aren't ready or you just don't know, this is a great tool that you know, gives you the opportunity to continue to utilize HomeBot. So looking through here, annual household income, monthly debt you pay, down payment, loan term, you enter that information and it'll give you an estimate that you can, you know, work for with just to kind of continue using HomeBot and continue forward. I just want to be clear, this is an estimate. Ultimately, you will have to sit down with the lender and, you know, truly get that pre-approval and find out what you qualify to buy for. So just want to go over that real quick. And one more tab over to the pre-qualify. Um, it's just Rob, so click right here. You can get in touch with Rob and kind of go into some more detail about that. Now let's go back to the front page. Right below price point, we scroll down a little bit. How does your favorite market stack up? So right here, you'll see market temperature, in the blue buyer's market and the pink seller's market. In the market temperatures, I have 95330 Lathrop, 94583 San Ramon, 94608 Oakland, and 95202 Stockton. So pretty much right here is just breaking down the market temperature, showing you buying timeline, the square feet you can afford, average price. Quick tip I just want to throw out there right now. As you're looking through this information, if you have a couple different you know, zip codes in, then let's take a look at the average price. 630000 and for Oakland, 666000 so between Lathrop and Oakland, the average price isn't too far off. But also I want you to look at this, the square feet you can afford. In Lathrop at 630,000, you're buying 2,870 square feet, okay? Now in Oakland, you're spending 666,000 for that average price, but you're getting 1,065 square feet. So you see the difference in buying power by different cities. Now, um, just kind of continue that example. If you're looking in San Ramon, you're spending 908,000, and you're getting you know just a little over 1,200 square feet, and Stockton, 326,000, but you're getting you know a little over 2,200 square feet. So depending on what city that you're looking in, if you're open to you know looking a little bit outside the Bay Area, well just more so just understanding if you are inside the Bay Area, there's gonna be a premium just kind of live within the Bay Area, and you'll see within these numbers for the average price versus square feet you can afford. And if you look you know just a little bit outside the Bay Area. Those numbers change and you get a little bit more purchasing power within your home, moving a little, just, you know, outside the barrier. So just options, whatever works for you and your budget, I just want you to be aware of the options that you do have. Now, just to kind of continue forward, um, let's take a look at Lathrop. So we'll click into Lathrop, just click the view right there, as you see on top, 95330 Lathrop. You can add it to your favorites, as you see that I have here, remove from your favorites. Uh, scrolling down a little bit more, you can see by the months, this is the temperature and how it's changed. Okay, now moving down, there are nine homes near you with a price point of 600000 So it's a good feature to be able to see and understand kind of what's going on around you. Now, homes in your price range have an average of 4.4 .4 bedroom, 3.9 baths, 3,000, you know, it's a little 3,000 square feet. So you see that right there, and you can, you know, really just 
see how much information they're providing and it, it really is an amazing tool. You know, average home price, price per square feet, square feet you can afford. So all this amazing, amazing stuff. Now let's get into this timeline. This shows 86 days. And, you know, I just wanna show you how they break it down. So prepare for three days, search and bid 38 days, close 45 days. Now with that 86 days, um, it really is an estimate it's going to be a case by case scenario for each and every individual and what their timeline looks like. You know, the search and bid phase, you can be in that, you know, time period for shorter than 38 and the close, you can definitely be closing. You know, we work with a handful of lenders that, you know, around 14 days and yeah, you can go below 14, but there's also different scenarios where you're going above 14. So everything is just case by case by person. And when we speak with you, then you'll know exactly what your timeline will look like. Now, just scrolling back up. Oh, and before I scroll back up, I just want to show you, we see these bubbles, you can ask a question and we'll get back to you as soon as possible uh, with an answer to your question that you did have. Now, Marcus tab, just click right back over to buying report. Now that we're back in buying report, you know, we're going to scroll down. So you've seen the market right under there, find areas you weren't thinking about, explore all markets. So if you were just clicking in there just to show you where it takes you, this is a really, really cool tool. I really like this and I think you will. Now, popular markets, let this load in. Just give it one second. Okay, so popular markets. As you can see, it'll show you different markets. As you scroll across, this will also um, highlight and you can scroll over the bubbles. Within the bubbles, it'll give you a brief description. There's the so popular markets tab, bigger house, as you can see across the map, different, you know, homes and the average sizes. So you can see different areas. If you're looking for a bigger home, cheaper buys, you can see the prices around the areas and see where you can purchase cheaper around you. And also fastest move. You can see the days around the market and, you know, move to an area that's a little bit faster. So for buying report, right back you saw find areas you weren't thinking about now we're going to continue down if you have any questions you'll see these three bubbles these boxes down here where you can ask us any questions we will get back to you as soon as possible answer anything you may have so definitely make sure you utilize that if you have anything you want to talk about now we're going to look at the timeline how long you know could it take to buy now this right here these are all adjustable these are a couple of different zip codes that we have in. So Lathrop, San Ramon, Oakland, Stockton. Like I said, you can adjust that to where you want, choose which one. You can choose by my close date. You can choose by as soon as possible when my lease is up. And here is the calendar for that timeline. Once again, if you have questions, just fill that out. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, another piece, what price point can you afford at current interest rates? Looking at this, you know, it's a breakdown and just giving you the month, my month, all the way up to here. So now that you see with the 600000 it was at $600,000, 3.1% you know, interest rate. When the interest rate goes down, your buying power goes up. And when the interest rate goes up, you know, your buying power goes down. Just to give you that example, at a 3.1% interest rate at 600000 now at a 3.3% interest rate, your buying power goes to 585. So when that interest rate went up, the buying power went down. And as the interest rate goes down, your buying power goes up. So I want to touch on that real quick. Now, last but not least, great tool. If you're renting your future home for an Airbnb, how much could you potentially earn? Now, this is just a sample address. I'm just going to click this in just to show you guys, but you can input your own. We'll let this uh, load in and we'll kind of take a look at what they show you for Airbnbs. So now that that's loaded in, the sample address, 1000 South Broadway, sample zip code, and um, monthly revenue down here, nightly race, number of nights. So let's start down below. How nice would you like to make it? You know, basic, fancy, and as you adjust this bar, you'll see the numbers change. So say, for example, at $57 a night, 14 nights out of the month, you're looking at an average monthly revenue of $809. Now, if you adjust this back up, 74, at $14 a night still, or 14 nights per month, 
you'll see the average monthly revenue of 1050. So you can adjust these and kind of get a feel for uh, you know how that Airbnb, Airbnb numbers would work. Up here, you'll see the monthly revenue. You'll see by nightly rate here and number of nights. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, HomeBot. That's a full tutorial for everything. Just wanted to you know get this out and I just really share this with some great information, a great tool to utilize. If you'd like to get a hold of me and the team just to get more information, as you can see, Michael Spivey, Spivey Dan's Real Estate Group, number, email, website, and yeah, all I would need from you, this is the key part and the easiest, your first name, your last name, email address, your phone number. We're gonna look at where are they searching, so that I see your zip codes, um, whatever zip code you need, you have, and you're interested in, we'll put that in there. We'll see if you have your pre-qual email with the lender. If you haven't, that's fine. You know, like I showed you earlier, you can still move forward, and we will get you to, to we will we will get you to the lender so we can have that conversation and your estimated price point. So yeah, that is it, guys. That is Homebot for buyers. Uh, full tutorial. Hope you guys have an amazing day. You know, I really hope this was helpful. That's a great tool to use. So. If you are interested in, you know, getting HomeBot's uh, monthly digest, then send over that information with your name, email, phone number, and um, yeah, your zip codes and estimated price points. If you can't remember that, then just send us a message and we'll get you set up. But once again, have a great rest of your night, and I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoy.